The new oil paint feature in Photoshop CS6 can be used to create some quite unusual oil paint effects. Um, well, basically if you just apply it just once, it doesn't really apply much of an oil paint effect at all really. Uh, if you certainly don't get sort of three dimensional blobs of paint. Uh, but uh, it can also be used for some pretty extreme painting effects. So I'm just going to quickly go over to uh, the uh, oil paint filter now. Filter, oil paint. Quickly apply that. I'm just going to apply a basic. You can set various things like stylization, cleanliness, etc. Click OK. Now that's applied once. I mean, it's a reasonably passable oil painting effect, but if you want to really create a really extreme effect, you can also combine it with other filters. And I'm just going to go to the filter and filter gallery. And I'm going to choose this one. This is one of my favourite ones, glowing edges. Now, it's a pretty extreme effect, and you might not want to use it in ex um, full glory. So uh, you've got that, but I'm just going to go to the edit, fade, Going to reduce it down so it leaves some of the lights in the in the things so you've actually got some more sort of texture to the design click ok now i'm just going to go back to the oil paint and i'm just going to apply another you might say you change the scale you don't have to keep the same setting all the time so i'm just going to change that ok and I've now created obviously a slightly more interesting oil painting. It's got sort of colour swirls in that. And that's what I'm aiming for, the colour swirls. Now, what I want is a really like three-dimensional effect. So I'm actually going to go and use the uh, render lighting effects. Now this is a quick and easy way of creating a sort of three-dimensional effect in the uh, and I'm just going to use well, I'm just going to select the green channel for the texture. And I'm just gonna oh, I could do that. Right. Change the height a bit. Don't particularly need to do that, but go the other way. Yeah. Just change that. So it gives it a bit of some depth. Move that over if I wish. Right. Click OK. Now you've got a very obviously red design, a very red oil painting. Well I'm now gonna go back to the oil painting. And of course the whole thing, once you've been doing this, you can actually just create a, a obviously an action for this uh, thing. So now you can actually see you've actually really started to make sort of swirls and, and intense lines, three-dimensional lines here. So I'm just going to click a pipe. OK there. And then you can see that. And I'm just going to go back to the oil painting again. And again, a bit of the shine. Now you're really... Sort of creating some really intense ripples in this oil painting. Now maybe it's not particularly now an oil painting, but suddenly it's created a pretty extreme weird um, sort of smearing design. And you can keep applying the uh, the filter now and uh, changing that to uh, and again apply the texture uh, the lighting effect again. Click OK and so on and so on. Just going to create it just once more to get a really Intense shine on that. I might reduce the shine a little bit. Correction. Okay. So you've got a final image now. You really, really, you've still got the basic image still there, but uh, now it's actually just become one smeared light that follows the contours of the face and the, obviously the lips there. So like I say, the oil painting effect in Photoshop CS6 can be used for oil paintings, but it can also be used for some pretty uh, unusual uh, visual effects.